You know, I had a, a moment. I did this movie a long time ago called The Last Time I Committed Suicide. The director was Stephen Kay. It's a great cast and it's a bebop film. And I really, really enjoyed the experience. And at the same time, I had a band that was signed to Atlantic Records. And there were some unhappy people in the band. And it was starting to make me question how much I loved music. And actually, as I was on the road touring, I, had, I realized that I needed to be in the studio recording and writing music daily. And so I started to develop a little bit of a homesickness for that. And I love the collaboration with directors. I love the challenge of what music can be for the vision of a director who's extremely passionate about the film they're making. Any director you work with, their life is basically wrapped up into it for a couple of years at a time. So to be given the responsibility to bring that to fruition is, is obviously a, a, you know, it's a great honor and it's a great challenge. Tyler, can you say in sort of a general terms what the great challenge was in writing music for 300? <laughs> Man, I don't even know how to su summarize that. Um, initially, I knew we were going to combine probably six, seven genres of music that required authenticity among all of them, and then to be voiced within the scope of one cohesive piece of music. So uh, the challenge was really to do that. I, I worked in each phase with uh, from my own experience writing and producing music, records and whatnot, and, and with artists who are viable artists, recording artists, performing artists nowadays who express what I think, you know, happen to be like the, perhaps the most uh, eloquent or most interesting voice in those particular genres that were addressed in the film today. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> and the budget wasn't too high, so. <laughs>